Yeah, lots of applause and selfies and hugs today on National Early Signing Day around Southern Colorado and the rest of the country. Today was the day to sign on the dotted line. College scholarships were signed and the guys that signed today had no doubt where they were headed. Big life steps ahead and a lot of them will be on a football field for these four. 100% uh, it feels like I got a weight lifted off my shoulder and I can just kind of you know focus on um, you know getting better and being the best player I can be. Third time was the charm for Evans. Palmer Ridge quarterback decommitted from Arkansas then see you before finding a new home at North Carolina State University. You do have to go to a school because of the people around you. Um, you can go get an education anywhere you want, but it's the people that uh, make it special and it's the people that you know make you want to be a better person. Aiden Cullen is staying closer to home at Colorado State. The lineman joins Mike Bobo's team in Fort Collins. He loved the recruiting process, but so glad it's all over with. So I definitely did do that, and then at the end of the day, you know, being able to sign here with Ty and you know, say I'm going to Colorado State, it uh, puts a, a good sense of finality on the whole thing. Kane Medrano is trading in black and gold for blue and gold, and a lot more warmer days ahead at UCLA. The Pueblo East All-Star was a commit over the summer, but couldn't wait to sign his scholarship early and start thinking about playing for the Bruins. This, this letter, this day, just everything about today is amazing. Um, the la National Letter of Intent, you know, I'm officially a Bruin and that just feels, feels so good and so warming that I definitely know where I'm going now. Staying in the Pac-12, Arizona State gets a native son back in Elijah Bates. The Doherty lineman becomes the first Spartan to sign a scholarship with a Power 5 school in 13 years, and he did it wearing his dad's old Sun Devil jersey. His parents met and played sports there, so the decision was pretty easy. But once that um, ASU offer came, since it was, it's pretty much been a dream of mine to play there since I was little. Since the offer came, it just, it was ASU 100%.